It's finally here! Yes, it's Black Mesa! The full version of Half-Life 1 remastered in the Source Engine. Technically, it's beta, but it's feature complete. Uh, supposedly, there's some, uh, there might be some difficulty bits where things are too easy and things are too hard. But effectively, you can now play Half-Life 1 or the Half-Life 1 Black Mesa mod, Half-Life 1 in the Source Engine, Half-Life 1 remastered all the way through. And uh, I've been waiting a long time for this because uh, I'm, Half Life One is my favourite game, uh, absolutely my favourite game. So uh, I, you know, I really wanted to play this. Uh, super hyped! <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, we've got this Black Mesa, and then if you've got an Oculus Quest, you can play Half Life One in VR. Um, but you need to sideload that onto your Oculus Quest. Uh, that's probably. I don't know if that's better than this. Who knows? I've not used it. I've not played Half-Life 1 in VR. I wanted to do this Black Mesa thing before doing that because I have actually played the original version of Half-Life 1 uh, relatively recently and I kind of wanted to... I kind of wanted to do Black Mesa before doing the VR thing again. But uh, look at this, guys. We're on the train! Literally, the best game intro ever uh, totally absorbed into the environment here i mean this i feel like i feel like this is missing from from modern games like half-life one hit the nail on the head and, it, and it's only really portal that really does this sort of hands off work out for yourself stuff's happening you're quiet you, you're a mute you can't talk you just you just play the game and get totally immersed uh, VR mod for this version of Half-Life, when? <laughs> That'd be the ultimate. But look at this, guys. We've got proper details. Uh, we've got... Oh, we've got loading. The, the in-session loading. We've got, of course, the uh, shadows and lighting. We've got Barney. <laughs> is it Barney? Is Barney the... I thought, actually, no, Barney's the security guard, isn't it? No, Barney's the scientist. Oh, I can't remember. It's been too long, guys. Look at this introduction to Half-Life. You get the whole sort of, oh, I'm going into a deep base. It's a massive underground concrete bunker. And before you know it, it's a disaster and you've got to escape. What more could you want from a game? They've done a really good job here, the uh, Black Mesa mod team, of uh, fleshing everything out here. We've got some nice light rays coming through there. When are they? Uh, when are they remaking this in Unreal Engine? <laughs> There's no stop for modders. Graphics keep moving forwards. Oh, I, I fingers crossed I don't get music copyrighted. But uh, if we do, we do. I'll just deal with it. There we go. Look, we've got some uh, new character models there. Oh, here we go. So good. I remember the original Half-Life when you're going along and you'd see outside the windows. You're like, oh my God, there's a whole world. <laughs> there's literally everything's just a small room. But, you know, at the time, 1998, guys, I had to uh, I had to lie about my age to, to pick up Half-Life 1 from uh, WH Smith. Naughty. But, you know, I knew it was going to be good. I remember reading PC Format and PC Zone. In fact, I, I remember the, the, the preceding months... Specifically buying PC4, PC Zone, and PC Gamer to try and get as much information about Half Life as possible. I have to admit, this train's not very efficient, you know. I mean, you couldn't really fit that many people on it. I guess, I guess the Black Mesa monorail's probably not got too many people using it. Look at that switch over from the bottom to the top. Look at that. Does he take off? No, he's just chilling out. Tribute to Emily Jones there. <laughs> oh, the doors. I forgot about this. Look at this door mechanism, guys. I remember specifically remember the animation on that in the original Half-Life being 
at the time. I was like, wow, look at that door open. Well, we, things were simpler back then. We, we were lucky to uh, to see two out of three did games. I, I, was, um, I was playing it on my Voodoo 2. 3D FX. 3D, 3D Glide, was it? Why is this stopped? Oh, just got to close the door, mind. This is serious business. It's like the most needlessly elaborate door mechanism. Uh, yeah, 3, 3D FX Glide. But, but I always thought the original Half-Life in some ways looked better with software than... Uh, than it did with Glide, because you you get the texture filtering with Glide, which made everything look smooth. Software things look kind of squared and like unfiltered, but that gave it a bit of sharpness and clarity in a roundabout weird way. Kind, it's kind of like, if you guys remember the N64 with its fog, <laughs> about everything looking blurry on the N64, whereas the PlayStation 1 still had like loads of pop-up and fog, but and it had like weird jaggling due to its uh, Z buffer and filtering issues, but it had a crispness to it that you just didn't get on the on the N64. So the the, the uh, these were the uh, graphics things that stood out back then. Now now people are like, oh god, how much, can I have real time ray trace shadows? Oh, can can I have VR? Can I have 4K at 130 FPS? But I have to say, actually, when playing Half Life One. I think it ran at a good 60, 70 FPS on 3D FX graphics cards. It didn't run slowly. So we, we were living legendary on, on PC. Whereas, I mean, obviously, N64 and PlayStation ran at like. ran pretty terribly. I think it was with the consoles, it was only really like 2D games, like fighters and stuff. And then, like, the PlayStation two where you'd start to really get games consistently be very high frame rates or, or moderately high frame rates playstation 1 n64 n64 was especially bad from my memory that was part of the charm i mean you didn't really have anything to compare it to did you i guess arcade machines were pretty good but pcs have always been amazing pc master race guys look at that now, of course, if you've been if you've been uh, following Black Mesa, you could have played you could play the beginning of Black Mesa and all the stages as they gradually release the levels. But um, I I just held off. I didn't want to play it until uh, until it was all done. That's that's raw patience there. There's the G-Man looking back at us. Hello, Mr. G-Man. How cool is that, though? When you first played Half-Life 1, you're like, oh, what's that guy in a suit? And you just noticed nobody said anything. Nothing is like, oh, who's the best bit the main person? No, I've ruined it for you guys that never played Half-Life. But no, nobody said anything. It was just like you would notice him as you were playing. And it was really subtle. Maybe some players didn't notice because they're brain dead. But everyone I know noticed him. I mean, obviously, by the end of the game, you notice him. But you do notice him early on in the game. You're like, he stands out. And it makes you think. And you start... Some of the nice subtle things with Half-Life 1 is it makes you think as a player, which makes it seem way more complicated and that there's way more stuff going on than that actually is. It's like all communicated through sort of subtext and subliminal messaging as opposed to, as I say, modern games where it's all like in your face, everything lighting up. Hello. Hello there. They've got, vo they've got their own voice actors for this and everything. Oh, Barney is a scientist. I've forgotten what the name of the security guard is. We've got, um, of course, if you played... Oh, where we go? They've got to do blue shift and opposing force now. Get get on it, mod team. Get on it, Black Mesa crew. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, you can play You can play as a security guard or a scientist in those uh, expansions. And then there was a PlayStation 2 that had that two-player version. You got the ponytail. Nice. Look at this, no shooting. We're just getting in there, just chilling out. Oh man, this looks awesome. Raymond, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Ah. Uh, I'm going to make your day even better. 
I need to do the button. I will do. I would have pushed the button and set the alarm off. That was a at the uh, when when Half Life originally came out. What are you doing? Still running around up here? Hey, it's happening. Cut it out. What the hell is going on? Up here? <laughs> this was correct. Did someone pull the fire alarm or something? Come on, Gordon. What are you trying to do? Get me into trouble? Yeah. So when it when Half Life first came out, the idea that you could just click on things and random stuff would happen. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. <laughs> It was really good, like, just added a ton to the immersion. I mean, obviously, with Duke Nukem... This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Okay. With Duke Nukem and some of the other games that came out before Half-Life 1, you did have some interactive elements, but, you know, Half-Life took it to, to, like, the next level. Hello! <laughs> let's, let's blow... Have they got the coffee to blow up in the microwave? I've got, I've got to go the right way. About that, we're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans. Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. <laughs> Go for coffee. His coffee's up here. Oh, is that the G-Man again? He's, he's, he's involved with everything. He's got his fingers in every pie. You got the wrong air like Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through. Oh, I need to. I, I'm lost. <laughs> I think we did actually go the right way. Oh, here we go. Look, it's all signposted. Personnel research. Personnel facilities. Follow the green line. It's like being on the London Underground, only they don't actually have lines telling you where to go. So, I don't know. Oh, we can't. But Welcome to Game of Muscle Gets Lost in a game again. This is one of my hobbies. One of my hobbies is getting lost in games. Here it is. Here it is. Morning, champ. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. Ow. Gordon. That really hurts. <laughs> so what else hurts? When you've been savouring and waiting for your dinner, and then so <laughs> I'm a rebel. <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom quick. Uh, that was um, that was you know who's lunch. Feeling peckish. <laughs> what what we got in here? Quavers, Ramblers. What's Ramblers? That's not, we don't have that. Fab titties. <laughs> Hipsters toffee. Sars bar. <laughs> Quavers are a real thing, though. Or is it Quavers? I don't know. Naked fries. A nice one. That's not... They've been paging you all morning. Okay, I'm going. Jeez. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? <laughs> Get my hazmat suit on here. Just your normal locker room with your hazard suit located in it. I need one of these for sim racing. Oh, the sound guys of the charger is so good. some toilet paper so I might, I'm going to turn the music off just in case do you know what I, I never really did like the the music that much <laughs> brownian motion activated Thank you, uh, Hazard Suit. Yeah, um, I remember turning the music off in the original Half-Life 1 because, not because I was alive, because I was streaming. I mean, you couldn't stream back then. I mean, you could try. I did I did actually watch CNN on, uh, 
on the what was it? Oh, what was it called? What was the program used for streaming? The right on three. Ah, oh, there was a there was a pro. Oh, I don't know. You could technically stream back then, but it wouldn't work well. There was no YouTube or anything. But uh, yeah, I turned the music off because I don't think it really went with the game a lot of the time. Some points it did, but other. Many points in the game, I felt like it, the music just was a bit abrupt. And you would hear the CD drive spinning up. And it reminds you you're playing a game. That's why I turned it off. Real player. Ah, oh, 28-bit modem real player. Like, 50 by 50 pixel. I'm watching American TV. It was the only way to watch ice hockey, but you couldn't even see the, pit, the pixel, the, the puck. The puck wasn't even a pixel. It was just people, like, skating around in circles. It's nothing to worry about. Is that a Limea monitor? Fancy. Oh, look at this. This looks great. It's quite funny how Half-Life 1 has this lean when you walk left and right. I quite like it. And also the movement in Half-Life 1. I don't know how much they've tweaked it in this. But in general, the movement in Half-Life 1 I always found quite nice and snappy. And uh, I feel like it's a good balance between it being fast, but, you know, not like ridiculously fast. I had enough pace to it that you could get through the game relatively quickly, uh, move around enemies and things. But, yeah, I'm surprised that's, that's something that seems to be different in a lot of modern games as well. Like the player movement is often really clunky. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I really noticed that playing Quake, actually. Quake 2 recently. Has been busy making last the, the, movement in, the movement in that is really nice and fast. And quick and snappy. And, it, you know, it's just really nice. I mean, you play, like, Call of Duty. And you're like, mm. <laughs> Well, I am anyway. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're, they're a bit strange for just. Oh, oh no! You've installed an Intel chip! You idiots! You should have used the new Ryzen chips! <laughs> oh no! A, a, a hacker's got in! Insecure architecture, failure. It's like one of my homemade computers, that. That's, that's literally what my computer looks like inside right now. I, I find the sparks help give a uh, allure of excitement with my PC cases. Also, you don't need uh, LED lights. You've just got the sparks to light things up. So, perfect. What is, is this like a... Is this an actual... Can we recognise it? Whoop, flip it over. No, it's going to always fall over that way. <laughs> it's like a toast. Always has to fall over one way. Come on. No, this is ridiculous. They programmed it to always fall flat. There we go. I don't. I think it's, it's like a fictional. It's like a made-up thing. For a start, that chip is that heat sink's coming up when the PCI ports. It's like a. It's like a real motherboard, but not but like elongated. It's like a real motherboard texture, but elongated. Don't recognise it. Let's go down the lift. Good old Half-Life lift. Look, this has got a bit of rotation to it. It's a big screw lift. I've never actually seen a lift like that in real life. Maybe they do exist. Probably a good way to mash people against the wall, so that's probably why they don't exist. Use the old sprint. Hello, we're going in. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. I'm ready. <laughs> ready to set off. I'm ready to set off a disaster which will ruin people's lives when they realize they never get a conclusion. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet and potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, 
We have complete confidence in you. It's all right. <laughs> nothing, nothing bad will happen. I'm great with plugging things in. The uh, the voice actor is really good in this, and the uh, character animations and everything. They've done a really good job. This is a. I mean, I guess you pay for it. It's a pay for mod. But when they started, I don't. I think it started as a, a free mod. Free man. F mod. F free. Yeah. You know. So. I have to fix the ladders. That was something in Half-Life 1 that was so bad. Why are we, like, getting glued to it now? Yeah, they've, they've, they've made the ladders a bit more solid. But, yeah, you can buy this for, like, 12 quid. It's, it's... Look at that. See, I think if you were gonna if you were gonna go and play Half Life Two, like say you'd never played Half Life Two and you're like, oh, you want to know what Half Life Two, what came before it, we'll take it from here. then you're probably better off to play this version of Half Life One. I'm assuming it all works fine. It's, it seems really good so far. This is more likely to run in a in a coherent way and obviously just look a lot nicer and just fit much better because of the graphics engine with the Half-Life 2 style and everything, making it feel more consistent. Whereas Half-Life 1 original, you know, I did play it last year and it does... Obviously, it's amazing. It's still the core. It's still it's Half-Life 1. But, you know, it is very dated <laughs> visually. And this is great. Nice lens flare there. You see this, like, purple lines. That looks really cool. We'll put, put the sample in. We've just been informed that the sample is ready. And that lens flare looks really cool. JJ Abrams. It's like a Star Trek film. Here he comes. Get ready, guys. We're about to destroy the Earth. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> There goes the chair. Oh, it's, it was actually... Let's put the chair in there as well. Fixed. <laughs> Fixed it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, they got vaporised. At least their death was quick. All right, here we go. Really good job on the audio. Oh, look at this. It's all floaty. Why oh, the ball of goop? <laughs> Don't know what happened there. See, that's interesting. They're using the models from Half-Life 2 or something similar to the Half-Life 2 uh, Vortigons. Um, as obviously, in Half-Life 2, they're not bad guys, but in this, they are. So it's, I'll be interested to see how that pans out with this. But, see, that's an aspect of it being more consistent. If you were to go... If you wanted to play something before Half-Life 2 and for it to all fit in. Let's get through the door here. Oh! Hello? No, I think he's gone, mate. <laughs> he don't look too healthy. I mean, I'm, you know, maybe the blood and the fact that his eyes are literally just staring over there. I'm pretty sure he's gone. I think you should just save yourself. Yeah, I, I'm, you know. No, nope. okay, you're going to keep going at it. Fair enough. You do that. If that makes you feel good, you keep doing that. Whoa, toasted. What is that? Is that a bit of brain? <laughs> Why is there a bit of brain? Steam the brain. Why is there brain? <laughs> Why? Why? 
put it back in here. Dr. Muscle. There you go, fixed. Perfectly healthy. Right. Let's get through here. Oh, we need to... We're we supposed to pick up the crowbar. No. Throw... Oh, you... Okay. I'm going in. Oh, the lift's still working. See, that's the amazing thing with screw lifts. Always working. Listen. I, I tried to warn her. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. Gordon, thank God for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. I need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is there. Uh. My God, what have we done? of the science team will help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you in the clear. You hear me? Yes! Freeman to the rescue. Off we go. So that's nice. They've integrated those two characters into this and you they don't... There's no way for them to die here, so uh, that makes sense. Oh, no! You're about to get cooked, mate. <laughs> Ow. No, no. Ah. <laughs> well, oh no. <laughs> well, well, you know, these things happen. Oh dear. Let's just run through here. We'll get my crowbar sorted out. Oh, Christ. I'll just run away from that. <laughs> That's pretty creepy, actually. Reminds me of the uh, the aliens, uh, the aliens, the zombies in Half-Life 2. I think they've used the same models, which keeps things consistent again. But they're really creepy in Half-Life 2 when they're on fire, screaming, charging at you. Oh no! Ah, oh. <laughs> spinal surgery. Right. Crawl through the hole. <laughs> I remember that in the first Half-Life and I remember thinking it was hilarious. Still do. People plummeting to their death. Nothing uh it's like it's that's like a visual metaphor for being English that. So it's, you know, it's quite nice. Hello. <laughs> Why are they wearing size team uniforms? Don't let them get near you. Well, I, I am got. A, I, was I meant to have picked up a grow bar by now? <laughs> I've, have I missed? I'm sure. I'm sure we're meant to have picked up a grow bar that we then are supposed to break one of those windows with. Oh well. Maybe I can cook people to death. Ah, oh, <laughs> genius. That'll do. Sorry, Doc. Oh, let's run out. Oh, the AI, uh, that's cool. Look at that. Animation's really nice as well. Whoa, shoot him! <laughs> shoot him! He's shooting the door. Go on. Bullets ricocheting off all over the place here. Come on. Is he dead? No, he's still not dead. Come here. Did you get him? Yeah, he's got him. Ow, ow, ow. How do we get out of this room? Ow. 
So dark, I can't see. Oh, they've got a flashlight. I see the flashlight looks a lot better in this. And the audio is really fantastic, like these bassy, uh, oh, these bassy hits. The bassy, like, uh, explosions and stuff. Really good. Have it! <laughs> cooking! Cooking! They do look a bit like turkeys, the, uh, the head crabs. Oh, they're all, they're all on fire. Right, we'll just run past that. It's all fine. It's all good. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. Oh, run through. Come on. Dinner. Dinner. <laughs> oh, there's another one. I need my cook stick. Dinner. Ah, oh, I missed him. Oh, no. Dinner's cold. Got to set fire to the chair and then set fire to the alien. Oh, I'll just throw the chair at him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's another cook stick there. Okay. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, it's got stuck. Dinner. Perfect. It's actually making me quite hungry. There we go. Oh, I've got the crowbar. We're now Gordon Freeman. Whoop. Oi. <laughs> Bring it on! I do have this on the hardest difficulty setting. I don't know how many hits we can have before we die. Oh, the old platforming. That's another thing. That, I mean, the main thing that Half-Life did really well is that I think... And it's quite a, I think it's quite a bold thing. To do the platforming. Given that the assumption most people would make is that, oh, you know, a first-person shooter. Why can I not get on that? You, you think, oh, first-person shooter, you, you know, movement's not going to be good enough to allow for platforming. Well, apparently it isn't because I can't get on there. <laughs> oh, no, he's burning me. I need to. I need to get up there. I'm pretty sure we go through that vent at the top, but we seem to be getting glitched. Should I just try and jump over that? Oh no, that's just totally blocked. <laughs> we got a problem here. We are stuck. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go up this. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe maybe we got some trickery. <laughs> Monitor. Wow, we've we'll been shot at. I uh, see they they've uh, they put some stuff in here to freshen it up a bit to make it not exactly the same as Half Life One, which is nice. Bit of a fresh challenge, boys. Let's get through that. Hello. Do you want some... Help? Shall I put you out of misery? There you go. <laughs> maybe maybe he would have got to it. Oh, well, no one's ever going to find out. As far as the records show, he, he just died. Oh. Well, that's fortunate we could fix that. I mean, absolutely fantastic. I'm already getting absorbed into this. Into the zone. This is all like frozen. <laughs> we like snow. We get... Is there anything in here? They, they have added so much more detail to this.
Let's, let's not crowbar the explosive boxes. Look at this! Oh dear! <laughs> ah! No! I'm gonna drown! I'll get through the ceiling. Quick, 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 quick. How cool is that? Nice. So, yeah, it seems they've added actually a fair amount of new stuff to this so that it's not just a case of you playing Half-Life 1 again exactly the same. Oh, Christ. I'm 93 health. We need to charge ourselves back up. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> even worse than what you would have thought that. Oh, dear. And then jibbed. Death by death by ladder and physics glitch. The ultimate combo death. Let's feed the uh, feed these. Ah oh, man, if the whole of this is like this, as good as this, this is awesome. Any of you that have been putting this off? Oh no, no. Oh dear, that was that wasn't good. Yeah, if you've been putting this off, now's the time to pick it up. Oh, no. Ow, ow, ow. Could do with a pistol. Hello, Mr. Head Grabby. This way. Whoop. And have it. <laughs> I always want the, the head crab plushie toy that they did. I never got one. I should have got one. I missed out on that. I don't normally like having, like, merchandise from games, but, you know, a head crab toy would be pretty cool. Okay, is it? Ow. Oh, God. There we go. I should have been pre pressing F5 more. Mistakes were made, guys. Okay. So, yeah, with the with on the hardest setting, we do actually have to be relatively careful. We can't just charge in. Oh, no, the lad is going to... Can we can we save him? No. <laughs> There's no saving him from the ladder. Some Final Destination action there. Can't stop it. More barrels. Eat the barrels, boys. There we go. Keep them busy. Ah, oh, it's the G-Man again. Didn't notice him the first time. Now, it's the... the uh, what's he doing? Okay. Come here. Come here. He can't get through the door. It only takes one hit to kill the head crab. Right. Head crab. Oh, come here. Come here. Oh, one. Come on. Will he jump through the other guy? No, he can't get... They have to... Whoa, he just jumped up his head. Whoa. Okay. There we go. It's like my basement spiders. This is just like... This is like day-to-day day -day life for me. I'm well prepared. Spiders jumping out of the sim rig. Man, just look at all the detail, though. This is this is great. I, I honestly was not expecting this to be as good as this. Oh, let's do this. Oh, seems to be a bit stuck here. Done that. I'm... I can't remember what we had to say. Oh, here we go. Feed one, feed two. Let's do feed one. There it is. Ah, oh, the old the old valves. Interesting story. Obviously, uh, Valve are based in Seattle. And uh, Seattle has uh, steam heating for a lot of the old town. And so they have all these like steam valves and everything. Which is why you've got the whole valves and steam being called steam. I assume it would make sense. And... Um, yeah, there you go. That was the interesting Valve story for you guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Courtesy of Game of Muscle. Top-notch story. Are we going back that way? Are we supposed to be going this way? Let's see. We go up there. We've done those. We've done that, Valve. 
We did the other one. Oh, hello. Oh, thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. Ah, okay. I hope you don't mind if I tag along. No, because you just told me. <laughs> you just told me I needed you. Of course I don't mind, you idiot. You literally suggested it. <laughs> There we go. Open the door. Good job. Path seems to be working in this as well. That was something in Half-Life 1. You get to some parts and the AI would get stuck and you're like, oh my god. So, well, Big boy. Okay. We've got a gun! And a hand grenade with a toss animation. Nice. Well, I'd like to stay, but I think we can uh, charge about health, and then we can get going. I think we've got to go back down the down the bottom, I guess. We've done those two valves. He. <laughs> I was not paying attention, guys. We're going. Oh. Ah, uh, there goes my ammo. <laughs> you got to be careful with your ammo. Oh, it wasn't this way. Am I backtracking too far like an idiot? I do have a habit of doing this. Oh, I might as well check these for... Nope. 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 Right, definitely not that way. Definitely not this way. Oh! Not, I have to say, the gun sounds are really nicely done on this. Oh, health pack, but I don't need it. Okay. Oh, there's a light through there. Ah, here we go. Pay attention. Yeah, the, the gun sounds really nice and crunchy. The pistol, like, little... Uh, whoop! The little uh, bit of kick to it looks great. Oh, that's so satisfying. Done a well good job with that. Is that a crab dead? No, I think it is. This... F Whoa! This feels like a new game. Ah! <laughs> He's coming at me there. The, the, the Vortigons are really satisfying to shoot with the shotgun. Because you can just pop out and one-shot them. Not so much with the pistol. Goodbye. <laughs> Gordon, is that you? Is it safe? <laughs> ah! <laughs> safe now, mate. Come out. He's going to stay in it. No. Oh, no. Run along, Freeman. I've some sordid business to attend to. Fair enough. I'll leave, I'll leave you to it. Whoa! What? Okay. Bloody hell, I thought we could go down the side of that. Obviously not. So right click with the pistol does the uh, fast fire, but then you obviously churn through ammunition. Now we're back <laughs> now we're back in no no ammo mode. But it's so satisfying shooting that gun. Fill her up, and then we can go through the other hole. Let's not drown just yet. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm stuck on it. Oh, this is not fair. That's not... <laughs> I 
I got my leg caught in the... I got my leg caught in it. Right. Tell you what, guys. At that point, at this point here, that's a good point to F5 it. Oh, F5 doesn't work. Well, it's auto-saved it. We're going to... That 45 minutes of uh, you being tortured by me there, um, I have to say, I can't wait to play through the rest of this. Th that could be... This could be Let's Play Black Mesa Part 1. As I say, go and buy it now. If the rest of it's as good as this, and it's and it's you know Half Life One is Half Life One, but this seems to have a lot of a uh, little bit of new bits in it, make it w makes it well worthwhile playing. And this would be the perfect thing if you've not played Half Life Two yet to play this, then play Half Life Two, then play Half Life Alex when it comes out. Ah, oh, or you got to do all the you got to do all the other games as well. But yeah, I mean, if you got this far, type in the chat. I re I wasted forty six minutes of my life, and I'm never going to get that time back again. Thanks, Gamer Muscle. <laughs> um, and well done for those of you that did. Uh, click the like button, subscribe if you feel like it. But uh, in until the next, until the next one, guys. Let well, let me know in the chat as well uh, if you want us to continue this. Otherwise, I'll just play it by myself. But maybe you like listening to us talking and playing. But until the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. And goodbye. <laughs>